Patients are going back to work faster. Uh, it's not untypic It's not uh, unusual for patients to go back to work after two weeks, three weeks, instead of four or six weeks now. I've had patients go back to work after after two weeks, um, uh, not taking any narcotics, just taking Tylenol. I think they can drive faster as well because they're not under the influence of narcotics, and uh, I think they're they're just less drowsy and just more alert and, and uh, generally more comfortable. The uh, the reason the reason why we uh, we came up with this pathway was to enhance the recovery of patients and to just improve their experience after surgery, make them more comfortable, uh, minimize their pain. Uh, enhance their recovery, limit the amount of days that they're in the hospital, decrease the amount of narcotics that they're taking, um, and just basically uh, have their experience be a lot more uh, pleasurable and, um, uh, and, uh, and less traumatic for them after a big surgery like this. For this surgery in particular, the patients don't go to the ICU after the first night, so they go directly to a uh, regular nursing floor with a dedicated team that are used to taking care of flaps, that they're, they're highly experienced. We have them uh, eating and drinking and walking the next day, so we encourage mobili mo you know, fast mobilization to get them um, back to their, their everyday activities. The biggest thing is also that we use less narcotics. We use a lot more preemptive analgesia before surgery so that they, lead, they need less medication and narcotics during surgery, which leads to less nausea vomiting after surgery because we're using less uh, anesthetics. Um, we've also used uh, liposomal bupivacaine in the abdomen uh, for transabdominal block and also along the incision line, which uh, can last up to three days. So that's, that's been significant in minimizing our postoperative pain. And, uh, and the reduction has been, um, you know, more than 60% reduction in, in pain, uh, especially in the first 24 hours. We're doing it for tissue expander reconstruction. Uh, we're doing it for, um, you know, cosmetic surgery, mastopexy, breast augmentation, uh, breast lift. We're doing it actually in all other aspects of plastic surgery in general. It's, it's basically filtered into um, other types of reconstruction which aren't related to breast because we've had so much success with this enhanced recovery for breast reconstruction. I think it minimizes their uh, apprehension and anxiety preoperatively. Uh, and uh, they go into surgery with a better mindset. Uh, they have less anxiety. And I think they've been um, very happy with, with uh, the post-operative course. I think a lot of them, the majority, don't think that it was as painful as they thought after surgery. You know, we're seeing pain scales ranging from anywhere from, you know, one or zero to four out of ten compared to, you know, six or eight out of ten before.